it helps us just because I guess, like you said, we've been there and done that. A um, little different scenario here. We got to go uh, three back to back, but I mean, we've been winning three games in a row all year long, so hopefully we can do the same. Me and myself, I mean, I'm just, I feel like I'm always like that. Just, that's just how I am. Um, that's just my personality. But um, as far as from a team aspect, it's just, it's been like that all year. We just have confidence in each other. We just, we believe in one another and we know that it's not over until it's over with us. And that's just how it is. As far as facing Dustin May, you guys have seen him plenty of times so far this season and just recently, but at the same time, this is a guy that's got a 99 mile an hour power sinker. Um, with that kind of stuff, does it help to have seen him before the release point, the movement on the ball, or is it pretty much a, a, a new tough battle every time you face a guy like that? Everybody throws 99 now. I mean, it's, it's not it's not anything new. Um, he's not rewriting anything. I mean, he's there's a lot of dudes that throw like that, and we've seen a lot of guys like that, so we're just going to attack it like we always do. The one two is just instilled in us, instilled in us because we're competitors, but as far as playing together, we, like you said, we, we just enjoy playing together and we're going to do everything we can to extend that and keep playing and whatever happens, happens. Trent, what do you make of Padres Dodgers as a rivalry, given how good all these games have been pretty much all season, including the last couple, but really dating back to July. It's just fun, really. It's fun to play in a very competitive environment um, with a team that we're trying to beat really badly. And I'm sure over there, they want to beat us more than anything else. So, I mean, it just makes it fun. We're competitors. That's what we like to do. And to do it on the, one of the big stages is, like I said, a lot of fun. Manny's trying to get our team fired up. And I'm sure Gradwell's trying to get his team fired up, but they were fired up. I mean, it was a good play. It was a great play. But, and that's just part of it when you get rival, rival, rivals together playing against each other in high pressure situations. I mean, just emotions come out. It's not ill intention. We're not, I mean, I doubt we're trying to pump each other up. Manny hit a homer and tried to get us going, which was very uh, similar to what happened at our place when I hit the homer and got everything going. Everybody's blood boils and people don't like it. But I mean, at the end of the day, we're here to try to help our team win. And Manny tried to fire us up and then they, they were fired up about a very, very good play. You think it's good for the game to see that emotion, you know, especially if it doesn't result in, you know, brushed back pitches, people getting hit. I mean, without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, the passion, the intensity, I'm sure when kids are watching on TV, they're loving that. When I, when I watch big league games on TV, I, I would love to see stuff like that. It's just, it's fun. It's, it's, it's part of what makes um, you want to play big league baseball. You and then Hosmer last night in the post game talked about the Machado moment being the moment that really fired up and energized the offense. How important is it for you, you guys to come up with that same energy just starting the game in the first inning? Well, this is a very energetic team. Um, I think we do really well when stuff like that happens. So we're always trying to get our get everybody going and get everybody. Um, I don't want to say emotional, but. Some, something along those lines to get everybody in it. And that's just, we play our best ball and everybody knows we play our best ball when it's like that. So that's all we're trying to do.